Hello world, this is Good Boy 2 talking to you from the USA. Anyway, what you're looking at is a gift I got from my dad today. Hey, it's a raspberry pie. And I have another announcement. All videos in this raspberry pie series will have a guest star in them. That would be my dad himself. Anyway, now I will be unboxing the Raspberry Pi. Let's see how to do this. So we have this Read Me First card. And Dear Valued Customer, thank you for your purchase. Okay, I think that's just one of those cards that nobody ever cares about. Oh, it came with an HDMI cable. This is cool. Here's the case. The power supply. This looks to be a memory card. Fan. Eh. Static shield bag, that'll be useful. Here's the computer. The instruction manual. Oh, power switch. That's something that'll be useful. Hey, Dad, would you make a comment? I'm just looking very much forward to uh, figuring out how it works and working on some projects with you. Thanks, Dad. Well, anyway, let's now start getting this set up. All right, so now I'm going to be building the Raspberry Pi. Hey, Dad, can you make a comment? I just want to see what's in each of the boxes, and I want to see how it goes together. I'm looking forward to you showing me that. The first box contains the Raspberry Pi itself. Open here. Let's do as they say. So here's what a Raspberry Pi looks like. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen one if you don't own one. Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I have never owned a Raspberry Pi before. And I'm learning as I go. So, next, let's see what... I think we should... Hmm, which part should I go for next? Any suggestions, Dad? Well, I would look for the... Uh, the... SD card? The SD card, and see if it's inside of the uh, anti-static bag. Well, what about the, um... Actually, I think we should get the power supply done first. Okay. So, here is our power supply. And our cooling fan let's take a look at this instruction card and then there's this manual let's see if this power supply had any instructions Like I said, this is definitely not a tutorial. Oh, I see it's a CPU fan. Here's our CPU, it looks like. I'm starting to wonder if that's a CPU fan. Let's take a look and see what if this card is going to give me anything. Hey, 
had her quick reference. I wonder if that aligns with this bracket here. How about we take a break for a minute? We don't need to. Okay. Oh, there's a manual right here. Hmm. Is it going to tell me what I need to, where I need to install stuff? That's pretty pie configuration. It's got all the OS stuff in it. Hmm. Hmm, not much on how to build it. I'm really going to have to edit this. These instruction manuals really need to be, be more detailed. Oh, HDMI. Getting started. Hmm. Okay, it looks like it says we should ins insert it into our case first. I really need to read more instruction manuals. So here's our case. Um, let's see. So, looks like it goes in like, hmm. see. I really don't want to damage this thing. Let's see if it has a... Oh, this does have... This is where the cooling fan would go. Like that. See if I can figure out how to get this in here without hurting it. We need to undo this a little bit more. Yeah, I think I do. And what I should do is place the pie like this. And then I place this like that. Then, like I said, I, I should place the heat sink like this. Let's 
see if there's a certain way I should do this. Hmm. This case doesn't have much of a... Hmm. Doesn't look like it has much of a manual in it. Oops, should not have dropped that. There we go. And how should I get in? Let's see if I can. I think this should have had more detailed instructions. I know I've been saying that a lot. But honestly, I have never built a computer before. I am so sorry about this, everybody. I'm going in. Where do these go? Hmm. This is very complicated. <laughs> I feel so bad about this. Display connector. Just gonna talk about where to connect the... Maybe I should... Get the power supply. Wouldn't it connect on? Uh, probably not. Hmm. I think I've unboxed every component. There should be something somewhere that tells me where to place the heat sink. Hey Dad, you've built lots of computers in your lifetime. Do you know where to where some of this components go? Not sure. Let me take a look. So as I just learned, this is a fan, not a heat sink. And these are the heat sinks. Let's get them installed, shall we? So, it says that, let's remove them. It says that the larger one should be placed on the CPU. That's this one. I would peel off this sticky, I believe. Well, the, the film on top of the sticky, not the sticky itself, definitely not.
like that and place it over the CPU like that. I think that's right. Am I correct? Yep, that looks good. And then the next one is this this one here, which should go over over the SD RAM. Or wait, the rectangular one, this one, goes on the SD RAM. Which goes right here, I believe. Let's actually take the Pi out of the case for now. So I can have easier access to the to to the chips. And then the small one goes over here. Is this gonna work? Yeah. I mean, it's a little lopsided, but. All right, and. Okay. Oh, now I see. Finally, it told me where to put the, put the fan. I just didn't read, read far enough. It goes like... Well, let's start off by putting the pie back, the pie case back together. And now it says... Four and five. Under. Yeah, so it says four, five. Now I see like that and that. Now we can close it up. I hope. There we go. And now we have our SD card in here, in this anti-static bag. There's the SD card. We're going to insert it, I believe, like either that or maybe like, I think it was doing better this way, so. There we go. There's our SD card. All right, and with that, I think I can get this hooked up to the TV. So now I'm gonna hook it up to my TV. So, now we need to plug in USB power. Or wait, that's the HDMI. Here's the power. Or wait, no, we should get the HDMI in first. First, because, you know, if it turns on, I, I wanna be able to, to see it. So, and then here's the power button. We're gonna get that in. Also, one more thing, I'm gonna need to get my USB keyboard dongle and plug it into a USB port. 
Should I use three or two? Uh, yeah, it's black, so probably two, right? Yeah. Any better. Yeah. Hmm. Let's actually go down here. There we go. Now let's get the get the path get power to it. Oh, by the way, the TV's off. I need... Okay, never mind. You're good. Would you hang on just a sec? I need to go turn the TV on. It turned off while I was doing all that. So, now I'm going to plug in the power switch. All right. And let's see if it comes... If it turned turned on while that was happening. Oh wait, I think it turned back to the wrong HDMI. Mm. Oh wait, this is a different TV than I was thinking. Now let's turn it on. I hear it booting. There's our Raspberry Pi. Alright, so I have huh, no mouse, it looks like. Um, how did I lose my... Let's try connecting it. So sorry about that, the um, keyboard and mouse I was using wouldn't work because of a combined dongle. So anyway, we are actually, we are in the United States, as I say at the intro to all of my videos. So we're going to install everything. Six gigabytes, that should be good. I'm going to connect it to Wi-Fi. Or deposit. So, as you can see, it's now connecting to Wi-Fi. And we're going to be, um, I think I'm just going to add the, let me look at all these new components that we got. I, I think I'm just going to use the, the ones that we, that, um, that, that were they, that were there at first. And with that, I'm going to install. We, I just got this SD card, so there's nothing on there. We're confirming. So here we go. You can pause it. Thanks, Dad. All right, so the Raspberry Pi is now fully set up and I'm going to start creating some user accounts in Raspbian and getting all that good stuff set up. So, here we go. Next, we are not in the United Kingdom, as I say in every one of my videos, I am proudly in the United States. And I am, my nearest city in this list is Chicago. I mean, I'm really from San Antonio, but that's not on the list. So, we're gonna use US keyboard, use English language, doesn't really matter. I. I use English anyway as my main language. Next, setting location, please wait. Also, as I found out, I've installed two OS's on here, so we'll be booting into the other one after this is done. Enter new password. Do you think I need a password on this? I think we can do that later. I think I'll actually do it now. Or what? I'm going to go ahead and do that, make a password. I'll tell my dad off camera because I don't want anybody to hack my computer, even though this is not my daily driver. So then next, hmm. 
we do have a black border around the desktop, so next. Select Wi-Fi. Turn off the camera, please, Dad. Okay. Well, as it turns out, it didn't ask for my network password, so we'll be going next and starting the software update. I don't think you need to show this. The system is now up to date, so let me press OK. Setup complete. Let's restart and see what happens. So there's our spectrum, which is kind of like the BIOS of the Raspberry Pi. Did you know that, Dad? No. That's cool. Now we're booting up. So now I'm going to go ahead and... Well, let's, let's finish the... Okay. I'll go ahead and go to Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to go to the other OS to set it up. So there's your Raspberry Pi splash screen, in, in case you've never seen it. So here we are. This is Raspbian, the Raspberry Pi operating system. Here's all the um, programs included. Programming, education, office, Internet, sound and video, graphics, games, accessories, help, preferences, run and shutdown. All your basic stuff you get on a computer. As you can see, this computer's primary education, primary the um, um, purpose is for education and programming. In fact, did you know that this computer is used by NASA for some of their rovers? No, I didn't know that. Well, anyway, so now we're going to boot into to that other operating system I installed so we can get it set up. Like, I got this set up. Because I installed two operating systems at the initial installation. So we got to get them po both set up. My dad was an IT guy in the 90s. I'll bet he never envisioned a monitor that's that's 65 inches, did you? No. Well, anyway, here we are. Next operating system, booting. So there's your Libre Elect splash screen, powered by just enough OS. Oh wow, it's like those Media Center computers from Microsoft. You remember those? I do, it's kind of cool. Hmm. We'll just call this um, Libre Elect, because this is literally just going to be used for for um, projects me and my dad do in this new series. Networking. You might want to pause the video here. So now we have the Media Center operating system configured. So we'll be going next. And now we're or just the operating system. As you can see, it's in British English because this is a British operating system. As you can see, I have nothing in here yet because I just installed this. So, now with that, I'm gonna try and get the time zone set up correctly. As you can see, it's, it thinks it's 12.01 a.m. I'm not staying up late to do this, trust me. So let's see, system, display, uh, audio input. Uh, how am I supposed to change the cold standard? Then I need to pause it. 
when I pause it. Yeah. Uh, well, with this, system's all set up. So, without further ado, who? This has been in Good Boy O2. Please like and subscribe. See you around. You can stop.